There we go. Good morning, everyone. Rolling that ball back and forth, up and down the fingers. And across the knuckles. And the pads of the thumb and the pinky. And let's take it out in one hand and squeeze two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the other hand. Back to the first. And one more time on the other hand. And today, let's bounce. You can bounce it to partner if you have one. If you don't, just alter it. Catch it with one hand, then the other, then the same one twice. Go lower. Dribble, maybe. Go higher. Or And three, two, one. And assess how your feet are feeling as you drop the ball. And step on it three times right in the middle. And up to the knuckles. Getting each one going across. And then pivoting on the heel to roll it across the knuckles. Morning, Suzanne. And then let's roll it down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, reassess. And go to the other foot, same thing, pressing down. Knuckles. Sliding it across. Rolling down. And scoop. Putting the ball over to the side, out of the way, reassessing. And shaking that tree. Three, two, one center. Nice breath and twist the waist. Swing in the arms. And center. with some ocean wave breathing. 
Morning, Don. Fingers behind the back at the base of the spine, gathering in starlight. Heart. Root. Third eye. Three times around the crown. And back down. And center, other side. And center. Let's go right into a march or jog. So today we're going to go back to basics. I'm going to do a few variations on um, squat. It's all going to be really sit ups from a chair. It, um, this is squat is really sitting down and getting up on the chair. And we'll fool around with those. Everything will have a modification, of course, but I wouldn't do squats. This is the bottom line here. When, with 25 seconds left, if you choose to, you can pick up the pace. Maybe I'll do some, uh, yeah, some side jacks today. I've already run. But you could sprint or go up a little bit faster or not at all. Do some good mornings, some wood chops. Say whatever you do in five, four, three, two, one. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, or twenty-five, and to the press. Interlace those fingers. Bring the hands up overhead. And we'll reach up. And go back. Center. Bend to one side. And then the other. Come back to center. And hands down, slowly press out at the chest. Separate those scapula. Come back down. Bring your hands in front. Again, separate that scapula, those scapula. 
and down. And one more time. Up. And down. Hands interlaced behind the back. And squeeze the scapula together as you bring the hands up. A little higher. And down. And up. And down. One more time. Up. And shrug. We'll roll the shoulders back. And forward. Extend the arms out and rotate. And the other direction. One palm is down, one palm is up, and we're going to flip and flop. And bring one arm across the body right below the neck, pressing in on the elbow. And then the other. First arm high in the back. Pressing down. Other arm. Let's rotate the neck. Other direction. Look up. Look down. Look to one side over the shoulder. And then the other. Nod. And go ear to shoulder on both sides. Into a side lunge and stretch the adductors. Very tight. Then the other way. Extending the uh, hand, fingers pointing up and pull back. Fingers down. Flip it over. And same thing on the other hand. Up. 
down. And flip. Um, let's turn to the side and stretch the calves. Pressing down on the back heel. And again, you could, of course, lean against the wall. One, two. Or hold on to the back of a chair or a counter. Other way. Come up, put one foot out in front, lift the toes, reach across your body with the other hand and stretch the hamstring. Hinging at the waist, keep the spine neutral. And come up and then the other foot, same thing. Let's grab a stick. We're going to do the Dr. David Lee routine today. So we'll bring the stick behind and twist it to waist. If you want to, very carefully bring some steps into the twist. Bring the stick up in front and swing it back and forth right in front of you. And then to one side. And then the other. Bring it in front at uh, the chest and paddle the kayak. Reverse direction. Come up to the chest and flop the wrists. Extend your arms down. And then up over the head and down. Back to the chest, palms come up and flop the wrists. Go down. And up and down. And then bring a stick to the back again. And we're going to do 10 steps. Only go as high with your knees as you feel comfortable. 
And then rotate your hip to the side. Again, only go up as high as is safe for you. Front to the one side, press down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then swing it behind you. And then bring it to the other hand, same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, press down for your uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven swings. And let's go up on our toes and back on our heels, holding for about a second for 15 times. Two, three, Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, we're gonna do some lunges. You might want to hold on to the stick for that, or you might want to use the back of a chair or um, side of a table or a counter. We're gonna. I'm gonna do forward lunge and a back lunge. If you want to just do one of them, just do one. I'm going to do 10 on each side. Um, but if you just want to do forward or just feel safe doing backwards, uh, do it that way. One, two, three. Of course, if you don't need a stick, you don't need one, uh, don't use it. Four. Good for the balance. Five. Nine. And ten. And then we'll switch legs. Give that one little legs quad a break. One, two, three,
and one more. Good. All right, we're going to sit down. We have a chair. I can use it. So this is your basic squat. It's just getting up from a chair, right? Um, I'm going to vary it a little bit, though. If you can, of course, you want both legs for balance, but try to lean into either your right leg or your left leg and coming up. So all the weight is on that one side. And do 10 of those. And now the other foot, the other side. All the weight is on that foot. You're just using the other foot for balance. So we're 98% of the weight is on the one foot as you come up. And go at your own pace. And now let's do both feet. You're just coming up equally on both feet. And 10. Great. So put the chair away. We're just going to do some wall push ups. We're going to do two varieties. Lean against the wall and just squeeze your shoulder blades together. Go far enough to squeeze them together and then come out and push so they're, they're fully separated. Shoulder blades together and push out. Two, three, four, And 10. And now this time, come in so that your forehead or top of your head is uh, just touching the wall. So like with the chair, this is something you can stop in the middle of the day and just push yourself against the wall a couple of times. And the one you're getting your muscles, uh, the trapezius, upper, upper back, and uh, the other more your um, biceps. And it's not too difficult. Let's lie down. And we're going to do a couple of bridges. 
So you want your legs at about a 90 degree angle here. I know sometimes we go out and then come in, but bring it in, it'll be more comfortable this way. Palms by your side and come up and down, up and down. We're gonna do 10 and then we're going to hold for 10 seconds on number 10. I'm up to six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. We're gonna do one more set. Now you can do it the same way there, or if you want to progress it, come up, kick your one leg out, bring it back in and come down. Go up, kick your other leg out, bring it down and come down, back and come down. Either way. That's four. eight, nine, and 10. And we won't hold on this. You can get up. And rub our hands together. Cultivating chi. Forming a chi wall. And letting it dance us wherever it wants to go as we shift weight, like water flowing from one foot to the other. Center. Deep breath and opening our hearts. Pausing, sending it out. Center, two breaths. And bringing down Chi from above. Go down, gathering it up. Namaste. Thanks, Tom. Hey, you're welcome, Don.
Hello, Hal. So today, after a rather exuberant session, we're going to relax a little with some Zen yoga. For those of you sticking around. Um. So long, so long, Bill Marlene. Good job. Right, take care. Bye, right, Tom. Bye. Ken, Ginny. You should stay. <laughs> you lost me. Good for you. <laughs> All right, so um, same, same routine as usual that we've been doing. Um, we'll get down on the floor. We're going to start with um, uh, some cat and then go into cobra and cat. And then I'll take it from there. Ichak is gone. What a pity. Yes. Charles Pope. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's not here.
smaller. Oops. used to chess. Everybody good? Thanks, Tom. Hey, Jonathan, take care. Thanks, Tom. You're very welcome here. Tom. I'll take care. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Richard? Have a good day, T. I will, Maureen, thank you. M mine won't be as relaxing tomorrow. <laughs> no, let, fill me in. I will, and I'll send you this other information too. Yeah. But don't you. forget to take a picture. All right, I will. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Ava. Very you, good. Take care. You too. And it's Jack. Take care. Jack is there? Yes, he is. I was looking for him because I wanted to tell him something. But I don't see him. He's there. I just wanted to tell